Hi there. This is a technical breakdown video for the STEM ecosystem table device. The table device is exactly what it sounds like. It's a speakerphone that's designed to be placed on any surface, specifically a table. And like every speakerphone, it consists of two main parts, and that's microphones and a speaker. So in this case, we have nine beam forming microphones. They're actually located on the top of the device. We have eight microphones right on the edge and microphone number nine right in the center. On the flip side of the device, we have the speakers right on the bottom. It's a speaker that's pointing downwards and that allows us to have better microphone and speaker separation. If you go back to the top of the device, past the microphones, you'll see in the center, three buttons. The buttons are very simple. It's plus minus for volume up and down and then mute. It's important to mention that the volume up and down buttons are for the actual speaker of the device, meaning using them will increase or decrease the volume of what you hear in the room. The mute, is actually for the microphone. So when we click on mute, then the far end can't hear what we're saying in our room. If you look past the buttons, the next thing we see is our light ring. This is an LED ring that's made out of two colors, blue and red. The light ring allows us to understand what state the device is in. In terms of red lights, if it's slow and pulsing, then the device is muted. If it's rapidly pulsing, the device is being pinged. A solid red ring tells you that there's a device error and something is wrong with that device. If we're actually in a call, you'll see a single blue light that's following the person who's talking in the room. That's showing you the beam forming. So as you walk around the room or different people talk in the room, you'll see that single blue light changing its position and basically indicating to the person talking that the device can hear them and is picking them up. When you boot up the device, you'll see a single blue light circulating clockwise. That's telling you the device is still booting up and is not ready to be used just yet. Once the device is finished booting up, you'll get a solid blue ring for a second, it'll pulse and it'll turn off. A full blue ring turning off counterclockwise means the device is restarting. Partial blue ring shifting means the device is adapting or testing the environment and you should be quiet. Now, if we turn to the bottom of the device, we'll be able to see the connector panel. We have three main components in the connector panel. We have our USB-B connector, our RJ45 ethernet connector, and then a Kensington lock hole. So the Kensington lock hole is pretty straightforward. If you want to lock down the device, you can use that. In terms of the connectors, we have our USB-B. That can be used if you're using this device as a standalone device and just want to plug it directly into your PC for video conferencing. If you're not using this as a standalone device, you don't even need to take uh, advantage of that USB connector. The next connector is the most important one, and that's the Ethernet connection or the RJ45. This is both for data as well as for management and most importantly for power. Please make sure that any outlet that you're gonna be plugging this into uh, supports PoE Plus or use a PoE Plus injector to make sure that the device gets the power that it needs to power up. To use the device, all you have to do is basically bring it into the room, place it where you wanna place it, and then you're gonna go ahead and plug it in to your wall socket. If it doesn't support PoE Plus, make sure that you give a PoE Plus injector. At that point, you're gonna see the blue lights indicating that the device is booting up, give it a couple of minutes to boot up. Once you hear a chime and the colors turn solid blue, then you know the device is ready to be used and basically ready to be set up more importantly. In section two, we're actually gonna talk about setting up the device through the STEM audio ecosystem platform. But other than that, we're good to go. Thank you.